Hey there, I am the dad of a terrific young boy with centronuclear myopathy related to myotubular myopathy. Uh, and I just recently started making a series of videos uh, about these myopathies, uh, basically for families uh, to uh, learn from and comment on and, you know, so that we can all share uh, in, in this uh, journey that we're on. And uh, this particular video is on the importance of networking. Uh, and connecting with others that are involved, uh, you know, with this diagnosis. Uh, and often when somebody first receives a diagnosis of centronuclear myopathy or myotubular myopathy, uh, for the patient and the family, there's often this sense of isolation because they do not know any other families or people that are affected by this. They've never met anyone. They've never talked to anyone. Uh, and with that isolation, things can seem very scary. Uh, and even among relatives and friends, as supportive and well-meaning as they may be, they may not have the uh, first-hand uh, insights, you know, to offer uh, to be supportive in a way of, you know, that others would be who've been going through this or been on this journey uh, ahead of you or with you, but unbeknownst to you. Uh, so along those lines, uh, I thought I'd make this, you know, this quick video on some of the ways that uh, we families can network and connect with each other. Um, one of the things is that there's lots of ways available currently, and the internet really has uh, opened up uh, a lot of that for us. Uh, years ago, before the internet was readily available, it was very, very difficult for a family affected by one of these myopathies uh, to really connect with another family. But now there's lots of ways, and we'll talk about that. Uh, everything from Facebook to support websites and uh, and other things. So um, let's do this. What I'm going to do is this may go out of focus for just a moment, but I'm just going to come over to uh, the computer screen here and just go through. Um, first of all, on Facebook itself, <clears throat> um, if you don't have a Facebook account, that's fine. Uh, some of these sites you can get to without an account, but maybe even easier. Um, even if you don't plan on, do not plan on being on Facebook for anything else, uh, if you just sign in and um, you can keep your privacy settings or whatever as private or public as you like, um, but in the meantime, uh, there are some terrific ways to connect with others uh, on Facebook. Um, and probably the first one I would mention uh, would be uh, the one shown here right now, which is the MTM CNM Family Support and Discussion, uh, which is a Facebook page. Uh, so if, you, if you're on Facebook and you put in MTM CNM Family Support and Discussion, uh, it, will bring you to, uh, it will bring you to the Facebook page for that. Uh, there are lots of families who are already online uh, sharing tips and advice and support and inspiration uh, for each other. Uh, so that's you know, certainly uh, you know, one way to uh, link up with uh, other, uh, other families that are uh, online. There's lots of posts that are on there already uh, that you can learn from. You can go on to Facebook and you can uh, decide that you're just going to you know, listen for a while and, and then you know, join in if you like, or you, know, or you can um, you know, decide that you want to uh, friend someone and send them a private message to perhaps, you know, uh, you know, chat about something if you didn't want to post it on the, the more public format on Facebook. Um, whatever you like, there's lots of options on there uh, for you. Uh, and I'm just going to scroll through a few different web pages here. Uh, one of the web pages on Facebook uh, was related to uh, our, a, um, a family conference uh, that occurred uh, recently. And on that, uh, and on that family conference, uh, there was, uh, you know, there was a way to have a page uh, just for uh, the 2011 uh, family conference uh, that was held in uh, July 2011 in uh, Minnesota or in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota. And basically, um, so there's lots of ways to connect. There's ways to look at events that are coming up that uh, that you may want to uh, attend or share in. Um, there, aside from uh, that, those particular Facebook pages, there's a Facebook page for uh, the Joshua Fraze Foundation, uh, and you know, or you can go to the website. You know, there's a website, of course, for the Joshua Fraze uh, Foundation uh, as well. Uh, and I'm going to post for all of these. I'll try to post the links uh, down below. Uh, this one is uh, joshuafraze.org. Uh, um, other things on Facebook uh, to make sure we're not neglecting our 
uh, our colleagues and, uh, and families across the pond over in the UK. Uh, there is the information point for centronuclear and myotubular myopathy. Uh, so Tony Abrams uh, has, uh, you know, Tony Abrams uh, site uh, has a Facebook page, uh, or you can go to the uh, website itself, which is centronuclear.org, O-R-G, uh, and uh, other things uh, over, also over in the UK, there's the Myotubular Trust, uh, which does terrific work uh, raising, uh, you know, funds for research, as well as uh, a way for families to uh, connect as well. Um, my wife has indicated that if people want to email her directly, she has an email that she uh, uses specifically for, uh, you know, connecting with other families, and that uh, her that Gmail account for that is curemyopathy at gmail dot com, uh, and right here on uh, right here on YouTube, uh, where I'm planning to post this video, uh, is you know a variety of uh, ways you can connect with other families. Uh, as I've said, I'm I'm you know for this particular channel here, uh, which is myopathy family. Uh, what I'm doing is. Uh, creating a series of videos is my goal. Uh, and then for those of you who aren't familiar with YouTube, uh, you can uh, create an account uh, on YouTube uh, and then you can uh, subscribe uh, so that if you subscribe every time one of these videos comes out, you can have it set up to, that either you log in and it shows you or if you want, you can have it set up that it sends you an email uh, you know, when a new one of these videos comes out. And then my goal or my hope is that people would comment upon these uh, videos uh, down in the comment section, you know, so down uh, below the video uh, itself, uh, there will be a, you know, there's an area where uh, people can comment uh, and, you know, put their comments down below uh, and uh, that can be one way to, uh, you know, for us to connect as well. Uh, if I go back here for a moment, you'll also see that there are what are called playlists. And one of my thoughts is that in addition to my individual uploads, which will be here, uh, that they'll also be you know, here. If you click on playlists, uh, I'll have a couple of different playlists here. Uh, and um, you could you know, potentially just click a playlist and play through the whole bunch of however many videos I have at the time you're going through it. Um, or you could you know, decide that there's just uh, individual uh, individual uploads, you know, individual videos that uh, you'd like to see. Um, you know, so that's uh, a few things as far as um, Facebook and YouTube and a couple of websites between Joshua Frey's Foundation. There's also one called the uh, MTMRG, uh, which I could pull up uh, here as well. Um, but, um, but basically there are... Up, oh, let me... Get that typo. Sorry about that. Um, basically, there's um, that's a myotubular myopathy uh, resource group uh, has a page uh, as well, although um, you know perhaps not quite as uh, up to date as the current uh, Facebook page uh, for for connecting families, but certainly another resource that uh, that people may want to look at. Um, so again, I guess my uh, take home point would be that there's lots of ways uh, to reach out um, on the internet. Um, other ways you can reach out. Uh, through if you're uh, participating in a local muscular dystrophy association MDA clinic which certainly I would encourage you to look for uh, one of those uh, in your area uh, then uh, what you can do is uh, you know on the you know you also will receive uh, if you sign up for it uh, you can receive uh, with the uh, with from the MDA the muscular dystrophy association uh, you can receive a uh, issue of what's called Quest Magazine, which is a magazine that comes out that's uh, all about uh, neuromuscular uh, disorders. Um, there's even a section in there called um, Pen Pals. You know, so if you wanted uh, to, you know, ask for, you know, hey, is there anyone with this condition in my area with my age or whatever you like, um, that would be another way get uh, to reach out. Um, you can even potentially ask at your at your MDA clinic uh, whether. Uh, you know whether there are other uh, other people there, uh, you know, treated with your same condition. Now they really won't be able to tell you that from a from a medical legal. Uh, I mean, a, from a uh, patient confidentiality perspective. Um, however, if you let them know that you would be willing uh, to let your name be shared if there's another f uh, family with centronuclear or myotubular myopathy, 
um, then they can uh, potentially pass that information on, um, you know, potentially. So it depends on, uh, you know, your doctor. Um, but at any rate, so that's a few things as far as, uh, you know, reaching out uh, to other families, uh, connecting with other families. I will try to post um, below uh, this uh, video, uh, I will post uh, hopefully the uh, ways that you can, uh, the links, uh, and for those of you who are not familiar with that, if you go to, um, if you look below a given, uh, a given video uh, on, uh, on YouTube, uh, then down below, and again, you would uh, best say it's best if you have a YouTube account, but you can do this even without that. Um, if you go down here where it says "Show More," uh, and there's more information below the video, I will try to post some of the links down there uh, so that uh, you can click through to those uh, for some of the organizations or websites that I mentioned. Okay, so that's uh, again a video on networking, the importance of networking for families affected by centronuclear and myotubular myopathy. Um, it's also important to network with the researchers, uh, and uh, but that's something. It's a big enough topic that I'll probably do a totally separate video uh, on that as well. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. Please uh, feel free to comment uh, down below, and also uh, feel free to subscribe or shoot us an email or uh, or what have you and uh, hope this is helpful for you, and be well.